A lot of the research that we do in AI revolves around creating intelligent agents that can interact with their environment. For example, to help human scientists make new discoveries or to efficiently control complex industrial processes. My name is Juan Amelia and I'm a last year PhD student at ETH Zurich where I do research in artificial intelligence. The way researchers in AI test their work is using computer simulations of reality. And this has many, many advantages, but the problem is that sometimes these simulations fail to imitate some subtle but important aspects of reality. And this can give us a false perception of how well these agents actually perform. Now, of course, before we deploy these agents in the real world, we need to make sure that they work. For example, uh, you wouldn't trust uh, a pilot who has only flown in a computer simulation, no matter how good the simulation is. And the problem is that the real world is potentially a very expensive and dangerous place to try things out. So to give researchers a stepping stone between computer simulations and complex real-world scenarios, I've built these two devices, which I call the causal chambers. And they are miniature computer-controlled laboratories built around very well-understood physical mechanisms. What this allows us to do is to test our algorithms in a real but controlled environment, providing a sanity check for the work that we do in AI. So this is one of the two chambers, which is a miniature wind tunnel. So we have two fans that push air through it and an additional opening that connects it to the outside. A challenge that we might give an AI agent is that by itself it should learn the dynamics of how the wind tunnel works and use them, for example, to control the air pressure inside the tunnel. Of course, this is only an example, and how the chambers are actually used will depend on the kind of algorithms and agents that we're trying to test. The response I've had so far from the research community has been fantastic, and the chambers are already in use by researchers around the world. I'm developing new chambers built around different physics, and I'm working to make them available to as many researchers as possible. I truly believe that they stand to substantially improve the quality of research that we do in AI, closing the gap between research and application.